How's it going guys and back to another episode we're going to talk about how to connect the Xbox One controller to the PC so we're going to actually play video games with it. Now when it comes to connecting a Xbox One controller there's two ways we can do it. Either we can use a wired connection or we can do it wirelessly. So I'm going to talk about how to do it both ways in this episode since some of you guys are interested in doing it wirelessly but we're going to start off by doing it with a wire. So if you want to connect it using a wire, at least to Windows 10, we have native support for it, meaning that right now, if I were to just plug in my USB cable that comes with the controller into my PC and then inside the controller, I can actually get this working straight away. Now there's a couple of conditions though, because you need to make sure you have the latest updates for your Windows 10 operating system, because the feature, at least the native support for Xbox One controllers is inside a update for Windows 10. So if you're one of the type of people that don't update your operating system ever, you're gonna to have to you know, update your operating system. So the way to do that is by going into your start menu at the bottom, go into settings, go down to update and security, and then inside of here you can update your system. So it's pretty easy to do. So if you have your system updated, you can actually just plug in the USB cable, plug it inside the controller and get this working. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do that or at least you know demonstrate that it's actually working. Uh, but before I do that, I need to mention that people who are not on Windows 10, there may or may not be a native support for Xbox One controllers, I'm not sure. Uh, but if you do not have native support for it, meaning that you cannot just plug it in and play, I have another solution for you, okay? So just for now, focusing on Windows 10, let's actually go ahead and plug this in and see if it's working. Okay, so I just connected the USB cable inside my PC. I'm just gonna go ahead and connect it inside my controller, like so. As you guys can see, it's actually lighting up, so we do actually have a connection going. And if I were to start up any kind of game inside, let's say Steam, I'm gonna go ahead and buff up Dark Souls 3 just to see that it's actually working. So I'm just gonna load it up here in window mode. Okay, so I just buffed up the game. As you guys can see, I have it running on my screen here. If I were to take my Xbox One controller and start moving around my, you know, analog sticks or something, as you guys can see, it's actually working. I can actually, you know, do stuff inside the game, uh, which means that I do have a connection going to the game. Now, just to show you guys, if you're not on Windows 10, I'm just gonna go ahead and close down the game here. If I, there we go. Um, if I were to go inside Steam and go inside Steam Store, we have a application called Controller Companion, which is actually a application meant directly for Xbox controllers, you know, whether it being Xbox 360 or Xbox One. So if you have problems connecting it directly inside the operating system, you can go ahead and buy this from Steam, which right now it's actually on sale. 33% off, which is quite good. Uh, it's very positive, meaning that a lot of people do actually think this is working. So it's not just my vote, it's other people's vote as well. I do actually have this, uh, what do you call it, this uh, software. So I know that it's working. Uh, so if you're not on Windows 10 and it's not working, you can go ahead and try this out to see if it works. So now that we just talked about connecting it using a cable, let's actually talk about connecting it wirelessly because wirelessly is slightly different than just plugging in a cable and then it works. Uh, if you want to use it wirelessly, you're gonna need to buy something called a Bluetooth adapter. And yes, I know a lot of people just turned off this video because I said buy, but you will in fact need to buy something called a Bluetooth adapter, which is something that Microsoft did actually make for the Xbox One controller, meaning that you can get one of these, plug it into a PC using a USB cable, and then it will in fact work with your controller directly as soon as you plug it in. Um, it will install the drivers necessary to get this working automatically when you plug it in. And I will leave a download link in the description for you guys to actually get one of these if you're interested. So you will need to buy an adapter in order to get this working. I've seen people online, you know, giving out different tutorials on how to do this without the adapter using the, you know, incorporated Bluetooth connection inside your computer and I cannot get it working. What people say you need to do if you guys are interested is go down inside the start menu, go into settings, go to devices, and then go to Bluetooth, and then click on the Bluetooth connection inside the controller right here, right next to the cable, which will in fact, according to the internet when you hold it in, make it beep a bit faster, like so, and then it should pop up. As you guys can see, it's right now trying to connect. My computer is trying to connect to something and nothing, nothing is going on. 
So now that I got that out of the way, let's actually go ahead and try and connect it using the adapter that you can actually buy for the controller. I'm gonna go ahead and try and plug it in and I'm gonna show you guys that it does actually work. Like I said, it should install the drivers automatically. So you just plug it in and then you can actually, you know, just connect using the round button there. It should say so inside the instructions that you get with the adapter. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys that it does actually work. Okay, so now we're inside the game and as you guys can see, I do not have my controller connected yet. Now, when you guys connect the controller to the adapter, there should be a small light in here that lights up when it's actually connected. As you guys can see right now, there's no connection to it. If I were to go ahead and click the Xbox logo up here in the middle of my controller, you guys will actually notice that once it start blinking, after a while we should actually get a connection. There we go. There's a small light on the adapter. Now, if you guys do not get the controller connected to the adapter, you're gonna need to click the small button that's right there on the side of the adapter at the same time as you connect to the controller by clicking the controller connection button up here. So if you click those at the same time, you guys should be able to connect these two devices. So now that I connected it to my Bluetooth adapter, do notice there's no connection using a wire. I can move around inside the game without having a wired connection. So this is how we can get this working. So before we end off this video, there's one more thing I want to mention in case you guys can't get this working, which is that if you did not get the drivers installed when you plug this in, you can actually do it manually inside your, uh, your browser. So if I do actually go out from the game, like so, just close it down. Now I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link in the description where you guys can actually find the link that we're gonna go into right here which is where you can actually download the drivers for the controller manually. So if you guys didn't actually get the driver installed when you plugged it in, you guys can go ahead and download from in here. Do bear in mind that we need to focus on the middle ones, the ones that doesn't have DFU outside of it. The top one is going to be 64-bit download and the bottom one is going to be 32-bit. So depending on which operating system you're on, you're gonna to have to download one or another. So this is how we can get a connection to our computer, either with a wire or wirelessly. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.